Welcome everybody. Holly and I and my family are stewards of this history. We don't own the team. We are stewards of the memory that you guys created. We have to keep these memories going. I mean, this, this is something that I think uh, I feel such a big responsibility to, not just to the bad boys, but what the bad boys meant to this whole community. Long run for the Pistons, Hubie. A long, tough run. They did it the hard way. They're going down to the record books as one of the greatest defensive teams ever in the history of this league. And you don't get to be that unless everybody works hard. And here are their wonderful fans enjoying it in the big arena. They set a record for the fewest points allowed per game in the playoffs since the NBA adopted the 24-second clock in 1954. They allowed under 93 points a game. And trophy here in the victorious locker room of the Detroit Pistons when we continue live as we crown a new champion tonight in Inglewood, California. coached by one of the best ever and they had great talent up and down the roster they were truly one of the greatest teams of all time the bad boys if you combine the years of hard work and what it's taken to do what got us here tonight it's kind of incredible who knew you were going to be as powerful as you are. You guys created greatness at the time. And now you have an ability to still affect this community. How many teams can say 25 years later do you actually have an impact on the community? You know, we have three MVPs in this room. This room is full of greatness. After the 88 final, we knew at that point it was just a matter of time before we, we became world champions. I remember the Lakers were celebrating, drinking their champagne, pouring their champagne, and Lambeer and I walked into their locker room. They thought we were coming to shake their hands, but... <laughs> oh, no. They, we both took a bottle of their champagne and said to them that they didn't deserve it, and we walked back to our locker room, sitting on the shower floor, I mean, just sobbing, tears, crying, and made a toast to each other that, you know, next year we're going to be committed and come back and win. And, and that, that's what I remember the most. I think we were playing um, Utah, playing Carl Malone, and I said, I got six fouls. All six got your name on it. <laughs> like Rick gave away six good fouls, I gave away six stupid fouls, <laughs> but I had fun doing it. <laughs> it's 
a great feeling. I mean, the four years I was here playing with those guys, it was like the best four years of my NBA experience. And to win those two championships, who could ask for more? This was one hell of a crew that we had here. And I, I was just so fortunate just to be sitting there, just watching everything. The theatrics that these guys put together was incredible, absolutely incredible. It's remarkable to see some of these people again. I mean, uh, you know, we get the whole family back together for an event like this. See all these guys again and have the whole group together. It's, I don't even know what year it is. <laughs> you know, seeing a lot of guys that I grew up watching, uh, you know, James Edwards, uh, Isaiah, Joe, you know, John, Sally, just, just watching those guys as I was a big fan of basketball growing up in Philadelphia and actually to know those guys one-on-one -on -one and to be able to share a moment of history and Pistons history with them as far as winning championships, it's a good thing. We're just the players and it takes an entire organization, it takes, it takes an entire city to make this work. Our organization had some of the finest people in it, and many of them are in the room tonight. Being around everybody again, uh, seeing faces and you know hearing the stories, uh, seeing how big everyone's kids have gotten grown. You know, it's just one big family. You know, and. Um, you know, we, we thank Tom for putting this together for us and then allowing us to come back and be a part of his extended family. It would have been nice if he sent a private jet, but hey, I'm not complaining. I think it's, I think it's a really cool thing. Tom Gorse and the Detroit Pistons were the main sponsor of this event. So whatever glitz and glamour there is here and whatever money we're going to send along to uh, Detroit Charities has a whole lot to do with him. Tom and Holly have been a terrific advocate for the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy. We're so very fortunate to have their support along with the Detroit Pistons. A lot of people pay lip service to giving back. I really want to stress that. They've actually stepped up and done it. It's been a huge impact on our students. I am so happy to have been able to shepherd uh, Tom into the NBA because in him I see somebody who's committed to the community and he doesn't like to lose either. So I have no doubt that the fortunes of this team will be turned around, that the building will be maintained and improved, and the people of Detroit will come to feel very good about the Tom Gurr's sort of time that the Pistons were his. I think he's got an amazing ability to spin a lot of plates at one time, and the same ability to bring all those plates together and set the table. is to win a lot of basketball games, bring a lot of people together, and, and have a lot of fun, and uh, he, he's a wonderful guy. Us old timers that are still around, we're going to guide them to that eventual point where he gets that O'Brien trophy and can lift it up with the pride that we all know that we have. This guy grew up in Flint. He knew about the bad boys. He's really one of us. And, and that's why this was so good for him and for us. Thank you for your love for the city. Thank you for creating the values for hard work and dedication and teamwork. And you are so loved in this city. To the Coors family, thank you for letting us be a part of your extended family. All the families in here, we are one Piston family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody in Detroit. Are we ready for a good comeback? Yeah.